What's up guys, it's Gio, and welcome back to another Geo Talks Meta episode. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the result, the results of um, the round 4 suspect testing, which was the uh, Deoxys, D and Deoxys S suspect test stuff. Um, so in order for the Deoxys twins to be banned, they needed a minimum 60% majority, which, you know, was seemed very feasible looking at the uh, thread, and I didn't end up getting Rex just because I kind of ran out of time with the 4th of July coming up and whatnot. But uh, anyway, we're just going to jump to the last um, post here that showed the things that we need to know. So there we go. Alright, uh, Deoxys D had got 66 votes, votes, to van votes to ban. My lord, I can't talk anymore. And Deoxys S... Got 67 votes to ban, so both are easily banned, uh, with at worst 78 and 79 percent super majorities respectively. So they both were banned easily, which is not surprising. A lot of people did find those very, very broken, and um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the results. But now I want to talk a little bit about how. I, I want to talk a little bit how about how it's going to impact the metagame, Speci and I'm gonna break it down by I'm gonna break it down by both uh, Deoxys D and Deoxys S. So we'll start with Deoxys D. Um, obviously, with the ban of Deoxys D, there's gonna be a whole lot less hyper offense running around, which some people will say is a good thing. Some people will say it's a bad thing. Personally, I like to have a very strong hyper offense presence in the meta because. It uh, kind of shuts down a lot of the stall that's happening right now. And uh, that is going to be another impact of having DoD gone, is that stall is going to take a huge rise, even more than it is right now, which is going to be nuts. And uh, this also throws Dio Sharp out the window. And Dio Sharp is basically what it sounds like. It's the Oxus D by Sharp and four other threats. <laughs> um, and then uh, we're also going to see a... Demise, not a demise, but a drop in uh, hazard stacking, especially in the OU tier, um, because it's going to be harder to find another hazard stacker. You're at this point, you're looking at Smeargle, you're looking at Shuckle, you're. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting somebody really major, but there's not a whole lot of people who get uh, not a whole lot of mons who get rocks and spikes, so that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, with the Oxus S. Now there's not a whole lot of non-priority revenge killing floating around the metagame, which may not be a bad thing, but it's certainly an impact of having Deoxys S going, because Deoxys S did outspeed Scarf Chomp by one point, even if Deoxys S was running HP Fire. And um, with Deoxys S gone, that means that there's going to be a whole lot less screens running around, and a whole lot less hazards, and generally, generally not as much support for Dia or uh, for other teammates coming from Deoxys S. Additionally, this throws at any last chance that Dia Sharp had of surviving. And uh, with the ban of Deoxys S, we're probably looking at an increase in usage in things like Garchomp, Tyranitar, and Dragonite. And the reason I mainly say these three is because these three things could easily be taken out by the standard Deoxys S spread, which was like 16 EVs and attack max speed and 240 or something, I think 240, in, in special attack, because that was enough to easily KO Garchomp with Ice Beam, and Deoxys S outsped any variant of Scarf Chomp. So, um, with Deoxys S gone, then Scarf Chomp has an easier reign in OU, even though fairies are still chilling. And then we have Tyranitar, who was... Uh, barely o code by superpower from Deoxys S. And so with that gone, we're probably going to see an increase in usage in Deoxys S, or an increase in usage in Tyranitar, which may lead to more sand offense floating around, which could be a revival of a little bit of hyper offense now that Deoxys D is gone. And uh, with Dragonite, Dragonite didn't exactly appreciate Life Orb Ice Beams from Deoxys S, Especially because it couldn't outspeed Deoxys S at plus one uh, speed. 
So now that Deoxys S is gone, Dragonite gets more rain. Other Pokemon that could potentially see a little bit more of a heyday now are Mega Venusaur. Because uh, Mega Venusaur really appreciates having those Psycho Boosts from Deoxys S gone. Um, additionally, things that just generally don't like knockoff spam and things that generally don't like psychic spam are really going to enjoy Deoxys S being gone because they get to avoid all sorts of nasty stuff um, from Deoxys S. But really, that's all that really went down with the Deoxys Suspect results. So, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like on this video as it really does help show support for the channel and the stuff that I'm doing here. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below about uh, do you guys think the right move was made on the Deoxys Suspect results. And after that, make sure to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.